You know, I think what sticks with me the most is that one year later, many of these people in and around Capitol Hill and specifically some Capitol Hill staffers I spoke with remain so shaken by what happened here one year ago today that some of them simply walked away from sought after positions in Congress. For Rich Luchette, a position as a congressional senior advisor was something he worked his whole life for. I got to be a witness to history throughout the close to 10 years that I was up there. But on January 6, 2021, Luchette found himself in a position he never imagined, trapped at his desk as thousands of rioters led an assault on the U.S. Capitol. At some point, we started receiving the reports that pipe bombs were found outside of the RNC and the DNC. My desk was right by a window, so I closed the blinds since we didn't know how organized this was, how bad it was going to get at that point. Plagued by a cloud of uncertainty about what life would be like after the Capitol riot, Luchette made the difficult decision to resign his job in July. It took several weeks to even begin processing what had happened and what it meant. After the insurrection, heavily armed troops and 10-foot high fencing surrounded the Capitol. By then it was a like <laughs> apocalyptic scene with the tanks and the fencing going to and from work was extremely unsettling. Zoe Bluffstone, a communications director from Portland, said the months that followed brought more frightening moments. In April, a U.S. Capitol Police officer was killed when a knife-wielding man plowed his car into officers standing in front of a barricade protecting a Capitol entrance. Then in August, a Trump supporter angry at President Joe Biden live-streamed himself parked outside the Library of Congress claiming his pickup truck was wired with explosives. Law enforcement eventually figured out he was lying, but only after a tense hours-long standoff with police. It was scary to know that someone was once again targeting just where we're trying to get work done. The stress has taken a toll on U.S. Capitol Police officers, too. The department tells WUSA 9 more than 100 officers left the force in 2021, a big jump over the previous year. All this as the department says the number of threats being made against members of Congress or the Capitol soared to about 9,600 in the 12 months since January 6th. But despite it all, Bluffstone remains committed to her job on the Hill, for now. It's sort of a shadow that can sneak up on you. Despite those critical staffing shortages we mentioned in our piece just this week, the U.S. Capitol Police Chief testified in front of Congress that his department is making major strides in closing some of the intelligent ga intelligence gaps that haunted them and all in for law enforcement one year ago today, including improving interagency communication about intelligence, something that could have benefited everybody during the Capitol riot. Yeah, even though a year has passed, there is clearly, Eric, so much more work to be done. Eric Flack, thank you. I know we'll be seeing you again at 6.